Hello, welcome to 1429 Lemke Road, Beaver Creek, Ohio. Here I am out in the, the concrete driveway here, walking up to the front of the home. Great location, highly desirable area of Beaver Creek. Great mature trees here, kind of just really give it a great neighborhood feel. We have some mature trees in the backyard as well. Big backyard here. Um, looking at this, this is being sold to settle an estate. Um, it is what we would call a fixer-upper. The uh, roof on this looks good. Looks like we have brick and stone. Side attached two car garage here. And we're just, like I said, seconds from the high school and the elementary. Fantastic location. Next, let's go inside and take a look. All right, before we go inside, I want to show you the backyard. Backyard is, looks like for the most part, completely fenced in. Came through a gate right here. And again, nice mature trees. Two entertaining areas. This would be the back door to the garage here. A two-tiered entertaining area. And this is full brick, too. This is brick all the way around the house. So we have upper level and a lower level. And there's our central air conditioning unit. So just a fantastic backyard. Next, let's go take a look at the inside. All right, so here it just came through the front door. And this front door is not too old here. This is a steel door with two side lights on here. Come into a slate entry here. Now we go a couple different directions. This is a bedroom, so you could make this an office if you wanted to with a uh, private entry because there's another door you could get into there. Double, huge double coat closet here. And then if we turn to the right, massive living room. Looks like a bow window there. Have some recessed lights. Wood burning fireplace, stone mantle, stone surround. From the living room, takes us into the dining room. Another closet here. This just gives you a perspective of how big this living room is. And then the good sized dining room. This is the back of the house that we're looking at now out that window. Kitchen here. Kitchen cabinets have been updated. Cooktop, wall oven, microwave, and dishwasher all stay. Kitchen sink overlooks the backyard which my wife and I were looking at house was one of the must-haves, believe it or not. And these are gorgeous cabinets. It's like a cherry type of wood. Love these cabinets. And it opens right into the family room. Family room, we have a newer back door, and this is the door where the blinds are actually built in to the door itself, so you don't have to clean them. Yeah, there's damper and on and off. So very nice back door. This door takes us down to the basement. We'll check that out here momentarily. Now this will circle back around. This was that bedroom that I said could double as a private office because that's that door right off the entry right there. Coat closet there. And then coming down, our first full bathroom. We have three full bathrooms in this home. Looks like the vanity has been updated. And it's actually in really good shape in here. Linen closet here. And I do believe, well, the people that I've talked to believe that there are hardwood floors under most of these carpets, which that first bedroom has them, this bedroom has them. So it's a good assumption that it could have them here. Bedroom, uh, I think we'll call that bedroom number one. Or no, actually, that'd be bedroom number two. Bedroom number three. Overhead lights in, I believe, all of these rooms. Double closet in here. This is on the front left of the home, if you're looking at it from the street. And then our owner suite. This is our fourth bedroom. And this is a big bedroom here. Two double bifold closets here. This is on the back left of the home, if you're looking at it from the street. And it does have its own bathroom. So our second full bathroom, walk-in shower in here. And then down in the basement, we have a third full bathroom. And there's also two additional bedrooms that could be used as bedrooms potentially to make this a possible six bedroom home. Since we're talking about it, let's go check out the basement right now. We're gonna go through that door. I'll meet you down there. All right, so here it just came down to the basement. Once we come downstairs, we're greeted by a huge rec room here. This is all ceramic tile on the ground here. Some of the remodeling has already 
started down here, uh, but you could take it over to your creative control. It's like we have a stove there, a little section. And this basement's a lot bigger than what it looks. This is uh, a full basement here, so we're basically mirroring the first floor. This room, I think I called it a study for my dimensions on there. And then coming over here, our mechanical room. It's where one of our water heaters are. This is where our boiler is. We do have central air conditioning on the house, as we saw when we were outside. And then coming down the basement, keep coming through here. It's kind of a circular floor plan, so you can get to multiple areas from other areas. So this is, uh, we call it a storage room here. And coming over here, I think I called this a hobby room. And some of the electric's not all on, so I have the flashlight on here trying to get as best view as I can. This is ceramic tile down here. Most of the drywall in the ceiling's been hung. Lights just need to be reattached. And another full bathroom down here in the basement. This is all tiled. This is in pretty good shape here, really. Corner shower. Looks like just good cleaning, and this would be underway. And then coming down the hallway here, a little spot there, you could throw a closet in there if you wanted to. We have two possible bedrooms here, making this a six bedroom. And really the hobby room can make it a seven bedroom, uh, but this is below grade here, so we're not counting them on the counter here. But some of the remodeling work has been started, just not finished. And then our utility room, is right over here, right off the bedroom, so we can get into the bedroom from this way. We have a door here, could throw a door there, and we can wrap all the way back around where we came from this way. And there's a second hot water heater here. And then this loops us all the way back around to where we started, and there's the stairs. Next, I'll meet you back upstairs for a few closing statements. So thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions about this home or if you'd like to see it in person, feel free to give me a call or give your realtor a call. I'm sure they'd be happy to show you this home. It is a fixer upper, um, but really the bones of this place are fantastic. Great location. And this would make a great home for someone looking for a fixer upper, you know, someone to potentially flip it, to put a little TC TLC in here would go a long, long way to bring this home back. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you.